Hello, how are you? Okay. Hello, teacher. How's it going? Fine. Good to good. see you. Joel and Bob. Yeah, the good people. The good people are here. We could just close off the class and just continue. Three of us. All right. Ah, okay. And Julissa too. Well, we can we can accept her. She can, she can hang out. We need we need some other we need some females so she can hang out. Yeah. Hi, teacher. Oh, hey, how's it going? What will be the topic? Uh, what will be the topic? Yeah. Um. Actually, we're gonna see. Uh, we're gonna talk about the language of dolphins. Oh. We're gonna see if we can uh, <laughs> if we can understand their language. So. Nice, nice. Topic. Uh, uh, Nimer? Uh, uh, Nimer? Is your microphone on? Nimer Garcia. Yeah, he hears me. He hears me. But he's trying to figure out how to make it work. I cannot hear you. So check to see if you have a microphone button. There's a, like a mute button, a red mute button. See if that's muted. Uh, or make sure your microphone's plugged in or something. But I can't hear you. Uh, oh, let me see if my Comingo chat works. It never does these days. Hey, my Comingo chat works. Amazing. <sighs> okay, yes, it works, Bob. Thank you. Um, Okay, so, <clears throat> right. well, so hello, Edgar. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Good. So, um, I hear some uh, echo coming from your speakers. I don't know if it's if you have an extra window open. If you want to close any extra windows, that would be awesome. Easier for us to hear. So. Um, uh, Edgardo, where are you from? I'm from Argentina. Oh, okay. Uh, which city? Hello, Maradona. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, Edgardo, I hear some extra, extra um, noise. So make sure you close any. Ah, uh, right. Um, yeah, that's better. I think. I think maybe not. <laughs> but anyway. Good to meet you. Yeah. Hello. All right. All right. Who goes back? Yeah, Finish. I'm back. Yeah, good. And the echo is finished. Echo. Well, I think that's coming from Edgardo, but I I muted him for now. Uh, okay. So, yeah. And uh, so Nimer is your. Hello. Oh, I can hear you now. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, tell me, where are you from, Nima? Uh I'm from Madrid. Uh, this is my first class here. Uh, <laughs> my English is not is not good, but I hope to understand something. <laughs> you're from You're from where? I'm from Madrid. Uh, I'm from Spain. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, cool. You have an interesting name. <laughs> yes, uh, my name is not the Spanish name; it's yeah. Arabian name. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, that, okay, yeah. Mm. Gonna... Your last name is Spanish, but the yeah, other names are. Yes, the no. last is the the only one Spanish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Okay. All right, and uh, Sudarshan has joined us again. Hello, and yes, sir. Yeah. and welcome Hello. back. Yeah, I'll come back soon. And uh, Will? Hello. Hello, where are you from? From Brazil, Rio de Janeiro. How are you? Ah, good, good. I'm good, thank you. Great. All right. Yeah, we have a full class.
Um, do we have any new people? So, all right. Um, so this is going to be an advanced class. Uh, you're watching a very advanced video. Um, I'm going to share with you my advanced. Oh, maybe it's better I go home. <laughs> Sir? Yes. So can I can't you use this uh, what do you call it, uh, the YouTube app to play that? Uh, yeah, we use the YouTube app. Yeah, that's better now, sir. Mm -hmm. So, oh, what did I just? What did I just? What is that? Because otherwise it will be phishing, you know, like. Oh, I didn't mean to type that. I don't know how. No, that's not. That's not. Uh, I don't know why. Don't click on that. I don't know why. I, I don't know where that came from. So that YouTube link. I didn't mean to type that. Sorry. I don't know how I accidentally typed that. <laughs> so anyway. Um, where was I? Oh yeah. So um, I will be using the YouTube app. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Before we do that. Um, uh, I wanted to, yeah, I wanted to just make sure that you guys knew that this is uh, going to be an advanced class. We're going to be watching a, uh, a TED Talks video, and uh, the speaker will be using some uh, language, some vocabulary that's that will be more difficult. So if you feel that you are a beginner um, or lower intermediate, this may not be the class for you. If you're upper intermediate or advanced or high advanced or expert, then this is a good class to work on your listening skills and discussion skills and vocabulary skills. Uh huh. Uh, sorry, teacher. Yeah. Um, I know how, but I think there is a lot of students that doesn't how um how to know. What what is the the level that they have? Yeah, that's a good question. Who's speaking? Who is this? I can't. Is this? It's Joel. Oh, Joel. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, that's a good point. Um, if you have a hard time watching videos in English and understanding them, then uh, then you might not be uh, upper advanced or, or, or upper intermediate or advanced. So. Now, one thing that we're thinking about doing soon in Kalingo is giving uh, some kind of a, a analysis so that we can find out and tell you um, about what your uh, what your skill level is. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we will do that. Okay. Um, I think in the future that way you'll have a skill level and we'll give you classes only for your level. I think that's what we're planning on doing. So it'll be really nice. Okay. Thank you. And I think people are calling me weird in the chat box. Something. Um, so. Why, sir? So, uh, what's that? Why, why do you say you're weird? Oh, I don't know. I'm I'm reading the chat room. Someone said something about a weird teacher. So. Anyway. Um. So let me see here. Uh, okay, so before we uh, talk about this video, before we watch it, I was just going to go over some basic, uh, some vocabulary words that I heard while reviewing it. And so I will, I will uh, review them with you. All right. So and I'll type them in the Colingo chat. Okay, so the first word I want to discuss is this word. Um, so who has seen this word and who knows? It's kind of hard to describe or define. So uh, ratio, ratio, what is ratio? Have, hmm? 
Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Yeah, you, you mean ratio, right? Yeah, I, I wrote it down in the Kalingo chat box, ratio. No. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's ratio in the sense, you know, uh, you have uh, 2 is to 5, 5 is to 6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or 25 is to say something, right. some numbers, right? Um, there is 2. Uh huh. And uh, mm -hmm. using a, so, what's what's an example of that? Can you give me an example of ratio? In some uh, way? Like you know, um, you have a ratio of uh, uh, you have, yeah, like you know, in a, in a, if you say of a, a a a powerful team or something that that you have a ratio of five versus six or six versus something like that. Uh, that sounds like um, that sounds kind of like odds. It kind of sounds like odds yeah. of winning. Is that what you're saying? Uh, mm, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, uh huh, yeah, mm -hmm. like same kind, you know, like uh, whatever it's, it's like, you know, like uh, football. It's then it's ratio, mm -hmm. like, and uh, it's a mathematical code. You you find it in the digital clock, you know. Mm -hmm. Understand. So it's yeah, ratio. Yeah, matter. So like, it's usually the relationship. Yeah. Uh, between two or more things. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, it's sort of. Yeah. So it could be. It doesn't have to be mathematical. It'd be something. I mean, it is mathematical, yeah. but it could. Be yeah. Not a number. It could be uh, the size, the ratio of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, ratio of size. So, okay, it's hard to define. Uh, I, I'll give you an example, sir. Uh, the ratio of a a a a to b a, a is to b and uh, a is to b a is fraction rational number and uh, that of continent of uh, a dividend by b and a by b and it's like a is to b is equal to c is to d and the a is to b is equal to c is to d or a is to b is to is to c is to d lateral form Something mm. moment. Yeah. So there's mm. two. There's two kind of two, kind mm -hmm. of two definitions of ratio. One is more mathematical. Mm -hmm. One is more about proportion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's more, more, I'm more com more typically in like a discussion that we're going to be watching. It'll be about more about proportion. Uh huh. Yeah. Pythagorean, Pythagoras theorem, Pythagoras. We have things have uh, uh, like it has based of ratio. Mm -hmm. What? Pythagorean, Pythagoras theorem. No, Pythagoras okay. theorem. But the Pythagorean theorem? Yeah, Pythagoras, yeah. They were theorem of ratio yeah, yeah. applied to the numbers, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let's move on to uh, our next. Um, so, Bob. Hi. How? Okay. <laughs> What about this word that I just typed in the uh, in the uh, uh huh? What do you want to know? <laughs> what does it mean? Something that is not created uh, by nature. Okay, something that's not created by nature. That's one definition. Yeah, something that's. Uh, Sorry. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So it's artificial is not not real basically. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But not real is is uh, depends also because the abstraction reality that depends the human mind to be exactly real real or not. Yeah, uh, I, I I'm sorry, it was just kind of hard to hear you. Um, but yeah, so something that's man-made, something that's not created by nature, nature. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay. Um, Joel? Or Joel? Yeah. Yeah. What about, what about the uh, word I just typed in the uh, in the box there? I is like Okay, Edgardo. Edgardo, I need you to. I need you to mute your microphone because there's a lot of noise coming from. Ah, right. 
So and I can't hear anything. I don't know why, but there's um, a really distorted echo coming from your speakers, and it's uh, so nobody can hear anything for some reason. So that's why people are muting you. Uh, so, um, so sometimes, so for some reason, our voices are coming back from your uh, from your uh, computer. I don't know why. Um, so, uh, Joel. Yeah. Yeah. So invasive. Have you seen that word before? Uh, invasive. Yeah. Um, really, I haven't. <laughs> okay, no problem. So, uh, who can help Joel in a, an idea of definition for him? Um, well, um, what did you say, Joel? Okay, I think I haven't heard that, that word before, but but I think invasive is like uh, something that is um, placing somewhere that doesn't belong to. I think so. Yeah, I think that sounds about right. I think you figured it out. So it's like doing uh, if you're getting into something that uh, where you don't belong or that they don't want you uh, to. It's like it's like comes from the same word as invade. Okay. The same basic ideas like to invade, to invade. If, if if something is invasive, it's invading your privacy. Uh, okay. And I, if you or you're getting in somebody's personal space, that's being invasive. Like if you're getting too close to someone and they're uncomfortable, then it's you're being invasive. So yeah, it's a good guess. You're right. Okay, I figured it out. Nice, nice, very good. Critical thinking skills there. All right, excellent. All right. All right, uh, Julissa. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Development. Mm -hmm. I think this means to go from one point to another in which you will be better. Mm -hmm. to improve. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's definitely uh, definitely one definition to go from one point to another and improve. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, what else? Um, um, it could be just simply growing. Anything that's growing is developing. So it's something progressing. Uh, mm -hmm. So you can progress uh, yourself and get better. Or uh, um, maybe um, uh, if you're okay, if you have a baby and you're pregnant, the baby is developing uh, in your belly. It's the, the baby is developing in its uh, complexity, uh, becoming a person um, <clears throat> and um, so develop uh, you can develop software so you're building software so it's uh, like building something developing um, growing I guess it's kind of an easy way to say it uh, I guess that's Sir? yes I have a, I have a doubt sir. it's a I think it's legitimate and uh, we, we use today we most probably we use this technology as a day-to-day -day food like you know Without that, there's nothing. You can't go and take anything. And uh, do you think this will affect? This is this has affected more in our in our day-to-day -day life in health and our, uh, the way we look, our appearance, and all this stuff. And uh, uh, so and so. Yeah, um, but I mean that's not really. We're just talking about vocabulary words right now. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just asking because you yeah. was talking about this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, we're gonna have, we'll we'll have some conversation classes on here. Mm -hmm. We might talk. We've talked about that before. We've talked okay. about we have, uh, technology classes where we talk about that. And uh, yeah, I just want to know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, definitely. I mean, it definitely. Of course, yeah, it changes. It changes everything. It changes the way we. we yeah, because yeah, because we to, tomorrow what will happen we don't know. Just we just want to be happy. That's right. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's look at another word. Oh, I guess it is right. Okay. Let's look closely at this word. Um. Mm hmm. So. Synchrony. Sync. Hello, teacher. 
Huh? Hello? Hi! Oh, hey, Ziad, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Yeah, good, good. Uh huh. Um, what's new with you? Uh, nothing. <laughs> how's, the, how's the weather in Charlotte? Uh, it's uh, before, uh, before one hour, uh, maybe going rain, same like this. Uh -huh. Rain, but uh, now, uh, now, uh, not any anything. Okay, yeah. I mean, rain. Yeah, we had some. We were supposed to get a lot of rain. We didn't get much. So Zion and I live close by, and I wasn't sure if. Uh, okay. Um, so I was just um, asking the class what the word synchrony means. I just typed it in the Colingo chat box. Take a look at that word and see if you can guess just by looking at it. Uh, Joel did a good job of figuring out a word. I think we can do it with this word too. So Ziad. Uh, Synchrony oh. means uh, time. Okay. Uh, that's. Uh, it definitely has to do with time. Uh, mm. Yeah. Say, say which things happen in time. Yeah, yeah. Or future or in the future. Something oh. will happen. Yeah. So um, yeah, mm -hmm. and often it's like uh, when more one or when two or more things happen together at the same time uh, mm -hmm. is often a definition of synchrony. So I guess maybe uh, maybe a clock in time is is like synchronized because it's it's all everything's happening at the same time. You synchronize clocks. You synchronize your watch to the clock, and you synchronize it because it's happening at the same time. Okay. Oh, that's synchrony. So, and we're gonna this video. We're gonna watch a video later, and they're gonna use the word synchrony when they're talking about animals moving in the same exact fashion together. That's synchrony, as well. So synchronized swimming. What's synchronized swimming in the Olympics? Right, when everyone's doing the same thing. Synchronized swimming. Same word. Okay, to do uh, two things in the same time. Yeah, or could be more than two, but yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and finally. Appendage. Appendage. Uh, so, what are you, Charlie? Appendage. Mm. Mm. Um, I think it's Ex something which exists uh, as, a, as a smaller and less, and less important part of something larger, kind of accessory. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know exactly. Yeah, that's a good. I like that definition. That's good. That's very well. So something that's a part of something. Yeah, that's perfect. That's great. Is you have the same word in your language? Mm, definitely not. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, wow. You just yeah. You just good at English. Yeah, that's exactly right. So a lot of times. Similar you know, but not equals. What's that? It's similar but not equals. Well, okay, that's what Portuguese, I meant. In Portuguese, it's appendice. That's what I thought. Okay, that's what I meant. I said same word. I mean, cognate. So, cognate is similar. So, um, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Um, and often, uh, it comes from like, talking about the body. I'm hearing it echo. Okay, so um, often it's a body part, like my arm is an appendage of my body. My body is the main part and the arm is something that's attached, uh, a little extra thing that's attached to my body, so my arm is an appendage. Um, okay, so let us... Um, all right. Um, Let's look at. Uh, I want to find this video. Okay, so um, if uh, everyone's ready, we can watch this uh, TED Talks video. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and uh, so if you go to your YouTube button on the left, we can watch it together. And please let me control it because there's only one video and everyone's watching the same exact video. So if you press a button, everyone will see what you're pressing. So if you pause it, it, it's paused for everybody. So anyway, touch the YouTube button and I will play it when everybody's ready. Anthony, I you speak the language of Morpheus. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Okay, see ya. <laughs> okay, so um so yeah, click on the YouTube button and then we'll watch this video when everybody's ready. I see most of you are getting there. And if for some reason you can't access that uh link on the left, the YouTube button, I can also post the link. But it's much better to uh, to watch it like this because then we can all watch it in synchronicity, synchronized, <laughs> right? Um, so yeah, click on that button, and I'll also post the link there. So. Okay, so all right, is everyone ready? To Okay, so let's watch it, and I'll pause it sometimes to talk, okay? We may, we may not watch the whole thing because it's pretty long, but I'll watch some of it. Let's check it out. Hey, chill. Yes. Uh, just watch uh, the video. Yeah, well, did you see the on the left there's a YouTube button? If you can press that button, you can watch it at the same time with us. Yeah, I saw, and oh. I opened. Yeah, okay, so when I press play, we'll all just watch it together. Okay. So watch it and listen, and then we'll talk about it. Okay. Okay. Okay, don't press any buttons here. Yeah, porque dice que hace mucho ruido el micrófono. Hi. Yeah. 
Hello. Okay, I'm going to pause it for a second. Um, so, Edgardo, we're watching a video right now together. And um, so, uh, that's kind of the whole class. So, you can either click on the link that I sent you on the Google chat, or you can watch the YouTube video in the YouTube link on your left. Um, so, that's what we're doing right now. We're sitting and watching... Uh, watching this video. But I do want to pause it anyway just to ask everybody in the classroom uh, well first of all you know I know she speaks fairly f quickly and stuff but uh, are you picking up the general um, idea of what she's talking about so far? Uh, the general topic and what she's uh, what she's trying to say? Yes sir. Okay. Um, yeah. I, and I heard some. Okay, good. I heard some of the uh, our uh, vocabulary words already, and um, in fact, I heard at least three of them. And I and I wrote down a couple other ones that I heard. Um, she she says things like in the wild, something when something happens in the wild, something happens in the wild. What does that mean? Yes, sir. Uh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in in the. In the marine marine environments in the in the in the sea in the sea and in the ocean. Mm -hmm. So like you know they used to communicate with him because in Bahamas and just she was saying that she found it in Bahamas and they used to communicate in a in a unique way and it's not quite understood well by the humans mm -hmm. but they can understand better than us. Uh, right, they they have this yeah. language, and there we're trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. Right, and yeah, but uh, human, we are finding out. We we are curious, and we are finding out. Mm -hmm. and that's what she is going to explain about it. Yeah. So and uh, and the uh, the word I was asking, about, I heard her say, uh, "in the wild." In the wild. Which she, I was just using this as a vocabulary word. Uh, it's a phrase, but it's basically a word. In the wild. What does what does she mean when she says that? Maybe in the natural environment of some animals, like dolphins. Exactly. Perfect. Yeah. In the natural. In the world of the uh, elephant. It can be anything. Um, yeah, it can be. So in the wild, it's like what Julissa said. It's when something happens in the wild, it means it happens in the natural environment of a, of a, of an animal or or something like that. So. So yeah, and you could find elephants in the wild. You can find elephants, you know, in nature. In nature. So, yeah. Yeah. so the wild can be the jungle, the forest, the sea, yep, the ocean. Yep, yeah. exactly. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's it's ocean. It's ocean. My ocean wildness, because uh, because the man knows uh, most of the stuff about eighty percent in the land. But a man doesn't know so many stuff what is going on in the ocean. I mean, he doesn't know what are the creatures under the, under the ocean. Even the Myrmid is, uh, they say that the Myrmid is near some, near some part of England or something. England or not England, uh, in Copenhagen. Copenhagen. Yeah. Well, yeah, so I heard the first part of what you're saying is that uh, we don't know much about what's happening in the ocean because it's so yeah. hard to, to study. I'm, so, I'm explorer. I'm what explorer. is the second thing you said? Um, the second thing I said that is that, uh, like, uh, you know, that uh, the, the, the creatures like mermaid. Mermaid. Mermaid? Yeah, yeah. And the fairy tales you get in mermaid. The, the, it, it, yeah, she, with the human body and the fishness. Yeah, what about it? Yeah, yeah. Because they say that it's found in uh, there. It has been in near this Copenhagen, near to ah. the Copenhagen, and uh, like you know, the, the government has promoted a, a scheme that a person who can find that and will be rewarded one 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 million US dollars. <laughs> I've been. I've seen so, the, 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 the yeah the mermaid, the, the little mermaid. Like, from uh, from Copenhagen. From yeah, I got it there. Yeah, it's like I've a statue, there. right? I saw the statue. I've been there. Uh huh. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I didn't see any real mermaids when I was there, but yeah. maybe next time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Especially, yeah, especially I want to say about my country because 
like uh, it's an island, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, um, uh, keep going, uh, Hello. Yeah, uh, so it's an island. Yeah, because my is Sri Lanka, it's an island, and you know, like, most of the part is not discovered by anybody, you know, like, it's dangerous to go and discover because of the current. And there are, I, I've seen most of the creatures, they look weird, they look aggressive than other creatures, which you find, because if you take shark, it is more powerful than you find anywhere in the world. It's very powerful. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, because I don't know what sort of a creation it is, but it sounds crazy because sometimes, because um, there are no national geography is coming inside the country, or like, you know, the, it's like a natural, you know, like no outsider is allowed or something like that. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Okay, so we we gotta we have to keep watching this video, so we have to go back to this. But uh, one more word that I'm gonna talk about before we continue is uh, whoops, I spelled it wrong. Cognitive, cognitive. Uh, what is cognitive? So cognate, cognition, cognitive. Um. Uh, Nadia? Y yes, yes. Do you have an idea? Mm, no. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, hey, Rose, are you there? Rose? Yeah, She's I'm not. here. Hi, how are you? Yeah, here is. I'm fine, thank you. Where nice to you? meet you. Uh, nice to meet you, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm well, thank you. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Roko, the capital of Tikirabha. Okay, great. Welcome. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so just so you know, we're in the middle of watching a video, and you can watch it with us if you click on the YouTube button on your right. There's a red button you can click on, and then it's in the middle of a video, and we're watching it. So I will press play yeah. when we're ready again. So, um, so cognitive means to do with the mind. If something a cognitive yes, process is uh, to do mm -hmm. with your mind, cognitive. If you have good cognition, it means you can think well. Cognitive. Uh, she said that I think when she was uh, doing her discussion. Okay, uh, let's keep watching this because this is pretty interesting. Hello. Oh, so I'm just gonna pause it here because Ziad is back. Ziad, um, I don't know if you, when you came in. I don't know if you need, but if you go on to the the YouTube button on your le left, there's a there's a video that we're all watching. Okay. So if you could find that, we'll watch it together. Okay, 
So, um, yeah, just listen closely. She's talking about uh, the language of dolphins. All right. Um, and any questions right now, now that we're paused? Is there any questions about the video while we're paused? Okay. Hi. Sorry. Okay, I'm pausing it. I'm pausing it now just uh, because there's just a lot of information um, that we're that we're being bombarded with it, and I, w I just want to take a little break to talk. Um, but yep, I didn't took anything from this video because Edgardo didn't let us concentrate really. Okay, well, I, um, you weren't you didn't get to you weren't able to listen. Oh, what? You weren't able to hear it? I didn't hear you. Uh, you weren't able to hear the video? No, I'm, uh, I wasn't able because uh, Edgardo was uh, interrupt us by uh, his messages and his uh, 
micro. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, so we have. Uh, um, yeah. So when we have a video, it's it's hard for everyone to watch at the same time. Okay. Let's uh, don't don't play it yet because I'm still want to talk about it. Um, so anyone that was able to concentrate, uh, are there any? Um, Sir, please give us a general idea about uh, what did she she said. Yeah, she said a lot of things. I probably should have paused <laughs> a long time ago because she's been talking about lots of things. Um, but one thing she's you know, overall in general, she's talking about um, the nature of dolphins. And, uh, and some of the oh, things God. they do in uh, in their natural habitat, including they're very playful animals. They like to play. And, and to sing. And what? To sing. Yeah. Well, they have they wow. make they make all these noises, and they're not just random noises. They are actually communicating, and they're they're saying specific things because. Um, they, they've been recording this and, and, and trying to, and they've noticed that they say the same things over and over, that they even have names, that they say specific calls, that they talk to different dolphins. Um, and there were uh, four kinds, no? Simpa I didn't remember. Simpara, sympathetic, sympatric. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. And, uh, yeah. Please, please. Yeah. So, Ziad, if you're moving... Ziad. Ziad, I will talk you in Arabic. So please, Ziad, min fadlika, rana nisimau fil video. Sil to play, please, Ziad. Let us read, okay? Thank you so much. He was, uh, I think, he was just moving his computer, but it makes a lot of noise when your microphone on. So the main, just the main rule about Colingo is, if you're in this class, it makes it easier if you only turn on your microphone. <laughs> Um, just make sure you keep it off until you're gonna, unless you want to say something. All right. Um, so yeah, there's four. She talked about four different types of of dolphins, but that's not even so important. More importantly, that they uh, they're detecting some kind of language, and now that they're they're trying to do different things to communicate with the dolphins. Uh, in fact, they made a machine, what they call a keyboard interface. So it basically like a way for the dolphins to talk back to humans. So humans could could do things for them, and then they made a they made like a something like tangible, something that they could touch, that they could ask for specific things. They could ask for food, or they could ask to play a game by pressing a different button. Um, and so this is this, it's like a keyboard. Like I have a keyboard on my computer. This is a keyboard for dolphins that they made so that they could communicate with humans. Okay, so yeah. that's kind of pretty much the, what she's talking about in general. So uh, the life of uh, the dolphin. Mm -hmm. uh, say again. Yeah. The life of dolphin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and us studying them and trying to figure out uh, their language. So. Oh, and Ziad, uh, Nadia was speaking to you in French, but I don't know if you un if you understand French. But uh, she, I think she just wanted uh, wanted to make sure your microphone was off. Ziad, I send you in Arabic, so you will he understand. Speak, he does more. speak Arabic, yeah. Okay, so um, let's uh, let's continue. Um, all right, uh, and listen close.
Okay. Um, that's about that's about as much as we'll watch. Uh, actually, it's about over. But um, um, so last time I paused it, I meant to go over a couple words that I heard. Um, I think that uh, she she was talking about the intelligence of uh, the dolphin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. And uh, his capacities of uh, uh, dis distinguish between things, I think. Yeah, yeah, their capacity to distinguish between items and also uh, and sounds too. And, and so they're even trying to teach dolphins like a, a new language, see if they can understand, you know, that they can, um, uh, it's just like in anything, you can train some someone to, to hear a sound and know something. And they're doing that with these dolphins. But they're also the dolphins are also mimicking the sound, so they make a, a a specific new word basically, and the dolphins hear the word and they can say it back, in a way. Yes. It's in a matter of speaking. So. Um, okay. So um, a couple other words I heard her say. Small. These are small words, but they're. But they are. Interesting. I just removed the word. I just removed the video on purpose, just because we're done. Um, oh, but they're actually kind of hard. Maybe hard, not necessarily. Uh, I'll in the Colingo chat. So, uh, death. I heard her say uh, when they were talking about the sargassum. Sargassum is like the that uh, seaweed that that plant in the water. They said she said they were very adept animals. What did that mean? Adept. Adept. Uh... Which is spelling teacher? Adept. D A. Adept. A D E P T. Okay. A D E. It's not an adept. It's okay. I. Uh, I try. I think adept is to evolute to develop itself to be able to survive in a different environment. Uh, that's more of an adapt. That's if you adapt to something then you can you can change the way you are in, in a new environment. So um, adapt is a different word. Adapt is an adjective which means Oh, oh uh, yeah. Clever. It's not an adapt uh, adapt. Clever, okay. smart, some someone He's smart. Yeah, or skilled. Skilled, yeah, skilled. skilled. The better uh, synonym, skilled. If you're, you so like me, yeah. Yeah, yeah and, uh, I mean, dolphins are adapted to the the, the kind of uh, thing they can do. Like, you know, they have adapted to the the the, the ecosystem, the way in which they communicate with each other. Um. That sounds more like adapt. Um, yeah, adapt because they have a uh, unique way of adapting things. You know, mm -hmm. they are very much. They're, they're very clever. Yeah, they're clever because they're adept, mm -hmm. and they're physically yeah. adept. They can they can take these. They can play and they can, they can pass these uh, play games mm -hmm. and pass these items. That's why they have. Uh, that's why they have. You see uh, dolphins in like the uh, in like uh, shows mm -hmm. for humans, and they're playing with balls, and they're playing with because they're very adept. Yeah, like, it's a, that's true. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry. So we find we find uh, dolphins Sri here in Sri, Lanka, in Sri Lanka here, and uh, uh, I have seen dolphins from other other varieties of dolphins, and uh, even Atlantic dolphins have seen it. But here it comes, you know, like they travel from their incomes, but they have a, a very different sense of, sense of adapting to the the, the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Because, so you're talking yeah. about adapt and adapt, but yeah, uh, yeah we don't have much time, so I want to I want to get to the next okay. I want to uh -huh. get to the next word. Um, one more word, and then uh, so um, it's a very easy word, very short word. And this is uh, this is uh, a verb. To sink. What does it mean to sink? Not a kitchen sink, but to sink. To sink. To drown. Mm, not necessarily drown, um, but that's so. That, oh, you're on the right track. So in the water. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. 
think to think S E N K S I N K S I N K to plant to die no not to die not necessarily to think just means uh, you don't have to be I a think uh, I think to think it means to fall to a to lower believe. level no? yeah to fall in the water basically so they were yeah. talking about the yeah. dolphins sinking vertically and that that's when they wanted the humans to play they would sink vertically and they would drop the toys so that the humans would play with them so if you sink in the water that means you're falling down to the bottom or you could drop a ball into water and the ball might sink to the bottom or if you're fishing if you're fishing you could you could uh, you could release your um, what do you call it your line your uh, bait and the, the the bait for the food for the fish will sink down and then the fish will find your fishing bait so that's the word sink it's, it's a very short word but I was I thought that might be an interesting vocabulary or it might be a new word because it's it's a simple word but uh, maybe you haven't learned it yet uh, oh. so that's actually all the time we have uh, it, we pretty much watched the whole thing and I know it was very fast uh, very fast speaking but I think it was still pretty interesting thank you so much sir yeah uh, thank you everyone um, Thank you. So I hope to see you in my next class. My next class will be tomorrow, uh, tomorrow night, uh, or tomorrow during the morning for some of you. Um, so check my schedule. Um, thanks, everybody. Good job. Thank you. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Take care, sir. Thank you, sir. See you next time. Thank you. Thank you, sir.